initially uh, joining with the KTM team, getting on the bike at first, I was a little nervous and excited, scared, all those emotions. I've been with a previous team for six years and ridden a different bike for a long time. And uh, but that change is what I was looking forward to at the same, you know, at the same time. I was pumped on that aspect. Um, but after uh, I've been on the bike and have that feel, I'm really excited with the changes and the people that I'm around and and surrounded with and the company that I'm involved with. It just seems like everybody is uh, really motivated, as am I, and I just can't wait for the future now. KTM's in an awesome situation having a 350 and a 450, and uh, the choice is, is something that no other manufacturer has, and I think it's an advantage for us. Uh, my initial impressions of the 350 are really good, especially for Supercross. Um, it's light and feels good, and uh, I think it's going to be a weapon in Supercross. So um, I haven't ridden it on an outdoor track, and, and that's yet to come. And you know, you know, we'll have that option to test. But it's pretty amazing to have that, and I think KTM's leading the way, and it's it's awesome to be a part of it and uh, have that advantage. The first time I sat on a KTM and uh, you go to grab for the Kickstarter, it's kind of, you just shake your head, but it's so cool and you hit the button and, uh, you know, the first time I sat on a KTM, uh, I was amazed. My father-in-law even bought a stock bike and it comes with really good quality parts and it's, uh, I always had that impression, you know, that it's different, you know, Japanese bikes always feel really similar in a European bike. I've always heard and I just thought, you know, it'd feel a lot different than what it does, but it's an awesome bike. and. The weight bias is totally different than a Honda, and uh, I enjoy that. Just the change is, is really refreshing, and uh, you know, so far I've really enjoyed the experience of, of just sitting on the bike and being a part of KTM. Red Bull being involved with KTM this year is awesome. Uh, those people are, you know, they beat to a different drum. They have an awesome image, and they just do cool stuff. And to be a part of it again it is awesome. And, I'm, I'm involved with a lot of the awesome companies I've been with for a long time, with Fly and Alpine Stars and, you know, Liat. There's just a bunch of people who are still staying with me, but to continue with Red Bull is really cool, and I'm pumped to be with all my same people because those relationships are huge in racing, and they're part of my life, and I am good friends there, but it's cool just to be a part of those companies, and Red Bull is definitely one of them, and they have a huge influence with KTM, and I think... Uh, you know, it's just another part of the whole change. It's still cool to be a part of that. Working with Roger and the whole KTM team has been awesome. Uh, you know, Ian and Carlos, Frankie. Uh, they have a new suspension guy, Mark, Rob. Um, I'm leaving people out late. And, you know, there's so many people that uh, contribute to this team, and I'm just really happy uh, to benefit from their knowledge and experience. and. I think it's going to be good for me and good for them and we're all here on this team for the same reasons. We're all really excited and uh, we know there's some work ahead of us um, with this project but it's going to be awesome you know here, here in a little bit and uh, not to say that's not right now because we're all pumped on the change and it's just cool to, to experience all that and to know that we're all in this boat together.